Welcome to this Scourge of War Waterloo tutorial. Today we're going into battle and the intention is to show you the additional commands that you have available to you during a, an actual battle. For this purpose we're actually going to use the tutorial. Now because this is a tutorial this isn't about winning the battle it's about showing you the commands. Now obviously as I go through this I'm going to get the little boxes come up until they eventually go away because we're so far into the tutorial. As I said we, we are concentrating on using what we've learnt in the other tutorials and seeing the other commands available to us. Now the obviously first thing we have to do is to clear the farmhouse of the French. So if I click on uh, British unit let's just uh, move this bar over here which is my habit now and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get them to kind of here and as you can see please note the context menu and this is going to be important going forwards so I'm going to say column and run and go Now if you need to speed up the time it takes to do anything you can do this by using the plus and minus um, on your keyboard and this is not the number pad this is the plus and minus below the function keys. Okay, so we've got our troops here and you can see it now says engaged and we've got a little target on the farmhouse above the flag and that denotes these these are the units our unit is uh, targeting. Now if I right click on the British flag you can see the actual context menu has expanded with these four buttons. And this is advance when engaged, charge, retreat, and fall back when engaged. So let's advance when engaged. Now you can see we've got a new marker saying how far our lads are moving forwards. And you can see the line has staggered slightly as they are gradually moving forwards. Now the thing to remember is you can't melee into an occupied building. You can only move into an unoccupied building. Whether that changes in the future or not, I don't know. As you saw, I right clicked here on the entrance. You can do it any part of the uh, building itself and the flag actually appeared in the center. You don't need to right click into the center. So that's useful if you use the HITS system, headquarters in the saddle. Now we should get the little flag for the unit popping up here. There we go. And then once they've distributed themselves we should have the flag appear above uh, this icon. This number actually denotes how many men can occupy the building. Now if you want to see the units inside a building just click on the flags and as you can see here we've got fort capacity, the little mark is showing how full the fort is. Um, Picton, who's our commander, and the North Gloucestershire. You can click and say select unit if you so desire. Here we have our reinforcements. 
and one thing to note is that we've got them all moving into position here remember we've got our overall commander within the building if I issue a command here you can see the couriers come out now that's a bit quick actually but they can take a little bit of time trying to warp through the building so what I suggest to do is unless you're desperate do not have your commanding officer inside the building because he's going to issue um, courier commands let's take the Highlanders and I'm going to place them over here column go as quickly as possible now one thing we haven't covered in the previous videos that um, I've, I've sort of avoided and that's the waypoint command so let's have a look at that now I'm going to click on the rifles and I'm going to place a position here column and off you go so the courier goes off and now I'm going to hold the ALT key down right click and place there and finally here didn't like that but you can see now we've got um, waypoint markers for where our unit is moving uh, the reason why I've avoided um, waypoints up to this point is because you can get them seemingly to work at this level but um, in terms of the brigade commander or higher you can't actually get them to work for the whole command I can get him to move into position and column or line of the brigade next to him but then when I try to do um, additional waypoints it's only him that follows those waypoints the rest of the brigade or, or whatever command you've got does not maneuver into position let's get these guys to move into line formation okay so we've got the Highlanders targeting this unit of French so if we right click on the flag we've got our context we've got our context menu with the additional commands and uh, I'm going to hit the advance when engaged which we've already seen I'm also going to issue the same one to the rifles Now I'm going to hit the full back for the rifles. I hope my timing is going to be good on this. And for the Highlanders, I'm going to issue the retreat command. Remember, we're not trying to win the battle, we're trying to look at what the commands do. can see the highlight here for the rifles is the retreat command the advance is changed and they are running back so it's it's a retreat is a get out to there as quickly as possible whereas the fallback is more of a is more of a controlled disengage now we've been told the artillery is here and we can quickly get to the artillery if we press on the OOP button Captain Thomas Rogers you can see we've got all the units associated with him 
go to the selected unit now we've briefly covered the commands of artillery but uh, let's just have a look so you can we highlight this gun let's just and if we choose a specific target you can see a courier is coming along and just watch the mouse pointer that changes to a target and just left click on the flag and you can see the target marker has now come up obviously when uh, we right click on a unit we get all the context buttons expanded it's the same for the commander as well right so we've got our cavalry moving up into position let's just click on this unit here and issue the charge command you can see we've got three or four available targets and they will only charge if they are engaged if I right click on this unit again you can see we've got the context charge and retreat off they go let's issue the charge to these guys and to this unit see we are driving the French from the field now hopefully these guys might form a square and you can see how deadly the square can be against cavalry but it doesn't look like it it looks like we're actually going to do a flanking and rear charge So this might be an interesting one. You can see down here, um, we've suffered no casualties on this unit, but we've inflicted 23 on the enemy. And they're all withdrawn. It does say we're winded, so... Uh, so that's it, that's using some uh, basic combat controls whilst engaged with the enemy. Thanks very much for watching.